It never struck you as strange that this man just showed up to save you. Just figured I was lucky. Have you ever been lucky? No. There's blasts everywhere. Signs of a struggle. Blood on the floor. What about the girl? No sign of her either. I'm thinking that he offed her. What did you do? This wasn't a random shooting. He's hiding something. What happened in that house? Where did they all go? You're watching Black Tree on TV. Hi, Sasha. How you doing? I'm grand. How are you? I'm doing so, so, so great. I love this story. <laughs> I've actually now watched it twice, so like it, just to get the the different uh, feel of it, at, at, you know, after after seeing the story the first time. My my first question to you is like, how much stronger? I mean, does your collaboration have to be with 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 your co star in this story? Is it? I mean, is it any different than any other story? When I mean, when you're working uh, with Tom on this, does the collaboration need to be a unique type of a more unique process in this one? I think so. I think the main thing is that it has to feel safe um, in that you have to have a kind of a trust and an acknowledgement that you guys are kind of looking out for each other and that you have an end goal that is the same. Um, and I tried from the very beginning to myself, let Tom know that whatever he needs for his performance and for his self, that I am here for that. Um, because, you know, it's a collaboration and, and it's not easy work. It's not light. So I think it's really important that you feel safe and that you feel comfortable and that you don't feel like someone's just judging or, um, wanting you to get through it just yeah. like in a hurry or something, you know, so patience and all of that. Yeah. And I asked this to, um, Amanda also, but when you look at this on the page, um, I know like in theaters, it's a, it's a, you know, it's a lot more the uh, visceral to see like what's going to happen. But can you imagine how this plays out on screen from from looking at this on the page? Yes and no. I think because there's so many like discoveries and mysteries and like twists and turns. When I'm reading it, my heart rate's going up. You know, I'm I'm also like okay what what's going to happen next you know all of that but there's nothing like actually visually seeing it because everyone is an individual that the character is written there obviously but how each person is going to play it how they're going to perform um mixed with their mood that day um mixed with you know coloring and the dp and all of that it's it's always going to be different from what you have in your head at least for me um so I think, yeah, there's always, there's something really cool about feeling it's going to be one way and then watching it and being like, would you look at that? Yeah. <laughs> you cool? About last night? Yeah. I was high. You wish I didn't do that? Too exclusive or something? No. It was cool. I swear. She seemed really comfortable with you. Yeah, well, maybe you should have kissed her too. Yeah, seems to be the consensus. It was a party. Uh, I, I'm curious just about um, your, your 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 makeup and having part Maori and, and, and Black. Like, how, how much have you been able to get into that culture of the indigenous people of uh, New Zealand? Like, is, has you been able to delve into, like, their their history a lot? I mean, cause it's such a, another curious story in our world history about uh, what happened um, with the colonization of New Zealand. Like, is that been part of? I wouldn't say it's that present. But I, it's more so I remember from like my childhood because, you know, my mom hadn't really been back in New Zealand for such a long time. And it's not as, what would be the, like, I guess it just wasn't necessarily more of a like present conversation, but just the love and affection for New Zealand itself. And I, I remember all the books, you know, we get the the necklaces 
um, like the whale bones being given and that I know the appreciation that I have of the culture, but it's not something that was necessarily pushed um, or something that I even can properly speak on, I'd say. But, you know, I obviously I have a big love for it. So, yeah, well, I have a big love for this performance and I hope we could talk again after the audience has seen like all this stuff and we could talk uh, more about different elements, but it was such a great layered performance. And I mean, you did an excellent job. Uh, so oh, thank you. I thank appreciate you. that. Thank you.